Typically, an electric car has a range of 180 to 250 miles on a single charge, with more recent models being able to achieve up to 300 miles. However, it's worth noting that this is the manufacturer's published range, and this can be affected by certain weather conditions, driving style, and sometimes even the terrain. EVs are predominantly charged by plugging them into an electric car charging point. So depending on where you charge, it could take as little as half an hour to fully charge your vehicle. There are three main types of charging, rapid, fast and slow. Rapid chargers are the quickest way to charge and can usually be found by motorway service stations or close to main roads. These points can usually charge your car to 80% in as little as 20 to 30 minutes. Fast chargers are usually rated at either 22 kilowatts or 7 kilowatts. The 22 kilowatt charger can fully recharge an electric car within one to two hours and the seven kilowatt charger within four to six hours. Typically, most home charge points that are installed are fast charge seven kilowatt points. Finally, there are slow charging points that have a power rating of 3.6 kilowatts. Charging times will vary, but typically take between six to 12 hours and are usually done overnight. EV drivers tend to charge at home, at work, or via a public charging point. If you're using a public charge point, you'll more than likely need an app on your smartphone to register and pay for the service. Although it's becoming increasingly common for these charge points to accept contactless cards. ZapMap is another useful application that can help you find local charging points and plan your journey. Without getting technical, EV cars tend to accelerate much faster than their diesel and petrol counterparts. Unlike petrol and diesel cars, when you accelerate, there's no combustion in an EV, so the vehicle provides full torque, leading to instant acceleration. It's also much quieter, which creates a far more comfortable and relaxing driving experience. The vast majority of manufacturers offer some form of electric car, and there are models in every style. From super minis, large SUVs and high performance cars from manufacturers such as Audi, BMW, Tesla, Kia, Mercedes and more. When we have cold temperatures in the UK, a vehicle's range will decrease on most electric cars. Most electric cars have a manufacturer app, which lets you arrange preheating or pre-cooling while still plugged in. So when you're ready to start your journey, the car will be at your desired temperature, but the battery still fully charged. Firstly, all cars have to meet strict design and manufacturing regulations, including EVs. EVs tend to be heavier than their diesel and petrol counterparts due to the weight of the battery, which is usually located low down in the car's chassis. This can lead to improved stability and handling characteristics. But we would always recommend looking at a vehicle's NCAP rating, regardless of whether it is an EV, petrol or diesel vehicle. Clean air zones, ultra low emission zones and even zero emission zones are being introduced in cities across the UK, including London, Birmingham, Glasgow, Leeds and Oxford. These zones aim to improve air quality by discouraging more polluting vehicles from entering them. EVs are currently exempt from charges within these zones. You may have noticed green license plates popping up on our roads. These green license plates are available to newly registered electric cars to help distinguish them from traditional petrol or diesel models. Going forward, it's thought green license plates could be used to recognise EVs that are eligible for free entry to zero emission zones or discounted parking. The government incentivises pure electric cars through low benefit and kind rates, also known as company car tax. The benefit and kind rate is 2% from April 2022 through to April 2025. There are also substantial fuel savings to be made by driving electric. To give you an example, to drive 1,000 miles in the petrol Mini Cooper would cost around £136, but for the electric Mini it would cost as little as £41 to charge for the same distance, saving the average driver over £1,100 per year. So, 
head over to the website to see how much you could be saving.